Hi, welcome back to this Excel tutorial using Excel 2007 and we're going to look at data tables again but this time a data table with two variables. So here's my little example spreadsheet again, Fantastic Flights, it's my travel agency. I've got a price of a holiday in here which at the moment is blank and I've got a rate of discount underneath which is also blank. Now I want Excel to substitute these variables so in the case of the accommodation price I want a price for full board, I want a price for half board and I want a price for flight only. I've got the three prices already in there and I want Excel to substitute those in this cell here, C3. Then I want these rates of discount starting with 0% and then 3, 5, 7 and 10 percent I want those to be uh, put in this cell here so the cell C4 will contain the substituted values for discount. I'm going to use a data table to do this but before I do that I need to just like before put in a formula. Now when you're using a formula in a two variable data table it has to go in a slightly different place and it's this cell here, cell B6 in this case where the column and the row intersect. Okay, the formula can be quite simple and in fact in my case I'm just going to click in the formula bar and type in an equal sign followed by the cell that I'm going to put the price of the holiday in which is C3 minus because I want to take this off and then I'm going to put parenthesis open a bracket and put brackets around this I want the price of the holiday which is C3 again times the rate of the discount so put in a multiplication sign and then click in the cell that's going to contain the discount which is C4. Close the bracket again and press enter. Okay there's my formula that's great now I need to put the uh, tell Excel to put this in a data table and when you do two variable data tables you must include the formula but nothing else okay so I don't want to put these text entries here full board half board flight only don't need that so I'm going to select this time B6 and drag down to E11 okay so that's all my data and this time once again go to the data tab and I'm going to move the camera again so that you can see this across under the data tools group click on the drop down next to what if analysis and choose the data table option okay move the camera back again so you can see what I'm doing Here's my little dialog box again. It's asking me this time what the row input cell is. And of course now we have got a row input cell because we've got these three prices of accommodation. So click on the little selector button and click in cell C3. Click back on the selector button again to open up the data table dialog box. Once again you can see that um, dollar signs have been inserted in front of the column and row reference for me automatically that's why I like using it basically lazy and then column input cell is this one here that's going to contain the discount so again click on the selector click in the cell that will contain that which in this case is C4 and click back on there alright so now I've got both of my references they're both made absolute and Excel will do the donkey work for me just like that okay hope you've enjoyed that thanks for watching